everyone welcome back to the channel you're watching our cloud school today in this video we are going to have a demonstration of using managed identity with cosmos db and azure data factory so let's try and understand why do we require to use managed identity with cosmos db and data factory so let's say i have a data factory instance which is having the linked service resources and link service type is cosmos db so this is a link service i already have which we have created in our previous demonstrations now if i open the source code mod for any of these link service connection you would find that the type properties it has got some sensitive information like connection string it has got the values as in what kind of a connection string type it is using and then the credential which is mentioned here though this credential is in encrypted format but even though this encrypted text is available here which is easily accessible from this data factory instance and anyone can grab it and then they can utilize this which is not good for the security reason and also think about this data factory code when i as a developer we are going to merge or check in this code into a github repository or devops repository then checking in this kind of a sensitive information in the plain text even though it is encrypted is not a good idea so the best practices to define this kind of a link service is is to use the secret list connection option remember when we used to create the link service it used to ask us what kind of authentication option you want to use for defining the link service let me show you that let me create a link service which is of type azure cosmos db nosql because we have a cosmos db nosql which is on the other tab in our azure subscription i'm going to click on continue and we will say that ls msi cosmos that's the name i would like to now here if you pay attention to the authentication type the default authentication type is the access key account access key which means that it will use the access key to connect to the cosmos db database and its collection and that is what we do not want because it's going to be again it will save the connection string in a plain text so let's look at the other available option with as an authentication type so here we have three different other options so the options we have is the service principle account key manage identity right and the user manage identity system management identity also known as the manage identity so the best suitable option we should use is the manage identity so let me just use the manage identity now as soon as i use the manage identity of course i need to provide the details like the cosmos db and the database collection and all so for the database collection i am going to copy the value from the collection name i'm going to use it here and as soon as i click on the test connection that is going to fail the reason for that if you look at here it says that the managed identity for this azure data factory you have to use the managed identity key and grant the permission to this data factory onto the cosmos db instance and how do you assign a permission you can use this link to assign the permission and this is the link basically so conceptually it says that you have to have the read write and execute query permission and that you can perform with the help of role assignment so there are various way to perform the role assignment with the cosmos db these are the list of role your cosmos db would require depending upon what kind of action you are willing to perform for an example are you willing to perform a read operation then this is going to these are going to be the a read operation specific role but if you are if you are trying to perform let's say create or write operation then this is going to be the appropriate role for your cosmos db operation right now how do you set these roles obviously if you have ever used the manage identity you can set the way you set the manage identity is you go to the resource you use the x identity and access policy and you set the role right if i go to the cosmos db from here access and identity control click here on the add and role assignment and then this is where you assign the appropriate role so here for cosmos db we have 16 to 17 different role which is a job function specific role which you can assign but these roles are basically a role which are having 
the more of a management kind of a role but there are no specific role which are given here at least now as of today which can help you to perform querying on the cosmos db or insert update or read the data from the cosmos db so to perform the insert update role you need to have a built-in role right so that's the approach or that's the kind of a role you need to have with your cosmos db right the role should have the following permission like it should have a read metadata it should have a read execute query and the reach read chain feed onto the container of course so this is these roles are on container if you look at here right this is a role which is for cosmos db built-in data reader right now let's say if you are willing to perform and read not not only read but if you're willing to perform the insert operation for an example right in that case what you need to do is you need to have the roles like this right so container forward slash star container forward slash item which means it will have a create item and absurd item and the read item as well so this is what a kind of a role you need to have now the question is will i be able to find these roles which is cosmos db built in data reader so if i search with a role name built in here let's say built in there are no role like i mentioned even if i find it here there are no role so no role exists here at the moment for the cosmos db to assign which is of these two role now what is the option we have right i'll show you a way to figure out these two roles right what could be the way to figure out these roles the other before that the let's talk about the other option the other option you have it here is to define the custom role right define a custom role and that you can define with the help of powershell or you can define with the help of azure cli again in the powershell you are performing the similar action if you look at here we are having the same action same action which we are setting or we are trying to configure this is a reader role and this is a writer role so exactly same thing if it is just we are creating a custom role instead of built-in roles so if you not found the built-in role then you can make use of the custom role right so this is the way with the powershell and this is the same way it is just with the azure cli option right this is the azure cli option and this is the same action we which we can perform with the cli command right now i was talking about the azure cli i was talking about the built-in role so like i mentioned built-in role you cannot configure it from here so how you configure it you configure the built-in role first let's find it out where are those built-in roles how do i figure out those built-in roles to figure it out the built-in role you need to run certain commands on your azure subscription on that particular resource to run the command you can run the command on your local machine as well of course you need to have log into the subscription but i'm going to use this cloud shell option to run the command so i'm going to open the cloud shell instance and that i'm going to use to grab or to fetch the detail of the built-in role so first of all let me just clean up this right now it is getting authenticated so let me just clean up the activity and after that i'm going to create certain variables so i'm going to create a variable to define my account name and then i will have another variable which is going to be the resource group name and now i'm going to run a query on the cosmos db instance which is to get the list of all the available role on this cosmos db instance let me just run this command az cosmos db and then role definition list so what it has given here is we have got we have got this output which contains role number one which is this one and role number two which is this one right now here in this particular role if you see here we have got this id whereas in the role one we have got this id with id number one and the role definition if you look at here it has got this exact same information right exact same information which we were looking for which is this one execute query read fetch data and these are the built-in role which was not available when we were assigning the role from azure portal but it is actually available behind the scenes somehow right 
Now, how do we assign this role? To assign this role, we need to have this ID, right? We need to remember this ID because we are going to make use of this particular ID, right? These and these both. So if you are willing to make use of read role, which is data built-in data reader role, which is this one, then you need to use this ID. If you are willing to use the built-in data contributor, which is this one, then you need to make use of this particular ID. So let's see how do we assign these roles. That is the query AZ Cosmos DB SQL role assignment create the name of your Cosmos DB account resource group name. Here dash P requires the manage identity value for the resource which is on which for which you would like to assign the role onto the Cosmos DB and then what kind of a role which role you want to assign that is the role number. So here I'm asking the role number which is role number two. Hence I am going to use this value which is this two right and the scope of course you need to use the scope forward slash if, if you want you can use the custom scope as well but I'm going to use this scope. Let me just hit enter and that will create a role for this Cosmos DB using the manage identity of my Azure data fact. Now, how do I get the manage identity? You can go to the resource on the portal. You can find the property under the property. You can find the manage identity or when we were creating the trying to create the link service, we were getting this manage identity value, which you can copy from here, right? So let's go back to the tab. It's assigning the role at the moment. It might take a couple of seconds to provision the role. So the role assignment is successfully created as you can see here now. It seems like having this role in place, if I go to the link service, I should be able to test the connection because the roles is already there. So let me just refresh the connection if that works fine now. As you can see that as soon as I click on test connection, the test is working fine, which means that my link service is absolutely okay without having the authentication type as an access, uh, as an account key here. Remember, the authentication type which I am reusing right now is of type system manage identity, right? This is the identity type which I am using it right now. So let's click on create to create the link service. So link service is successfully created. Right now you see this gray, gray icon because the link service is not yet published right now. Now, but before that, if I click here on the code section, you would see that there is no encrypted text which is available here, right? Similarly, if I click on the previous link service, which is available, it has got the included text, which is having the difference, right? So now with this, we have managed to create the link service. Let's test this particular link service, which is our, which is having the managed identity. So I'm going to publish first of all, even though you can test it without publishing, but I'm just publishing it. I'm going to create a new pipeline quickly. And in that pipeline, I'll use the lookup activity just quickly test my link service because lookup activity will require a data set and here I'm going to use a new data set which is of type Cosmos DB NoSQL and in that data set I'm going to define or use new MSI Cosmos DB link service as I'm using this link service if link service is successfully working fine I should be able to fetch the container as you can see that the container is successfully fetched which proves that our link service is able to grab the information which it is looking for. Now here you have the query option. If I uncheck this, which means that it will run the select a star form on this particular container and it will fetch all the data which, I'm, which is available in this container. Of course, it will read only first 5000 record. So let me just debug this just to make sure that our link service, which is having the managed identity authentication successfully fine or not. The pipeline is successfully completed. Let's validate the output. The output is validated and we have got the data which we are looking for or the data which we have it in our Cosmos DB. Now if I validate this with the data we have, which is here in the data explorer, just to make sure that we are grabbing the data which is available in our record, which I can basically simply just create a query. New query, I'm going to execute the select star form, which is the exact same query and it is having the six record. Here also we have the six record, right? So that is how you use the manage identity with Cosmos DB and Data Factory. And this we have done it with a built-in role. We have not created a custom role. Remember, 
there is an option to create a custom role but as of now there is no need because there is a custom role already available right now if you would like to let's say delete the role due to some reason what you can do you can this az cosmos db role assignment delete you need to provide the role assignment id which is this particular id right this id is nothing the id of the role which has been created from here right so you, you just copy this particular id and then assign it what i can do is i can simply copy this and from here from this command i'll just remove this data which it says do you want to really delete it i'll say yes and with that the role is going to be deleted so the role is successfully deleted now which means that the connectivity between the idf and your data factory is no no longer valid now so if i try and debug this it should basically fail saying that there is no connection between this adf and the cosmos db let's wait for the result as expected we we are getting a failure here and it says that it's not able to connect to the cosmos db because it is missing the role which it is looking for having the 403 exception and because it's not having a proper role so it's principle right so this is how we use the manage identity with link service in data factory and especially with cosmos db to provide a secretless communication between the cosmos db and cosmos and data factory that's it in this video i hope you found this useful if it is please do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already thanks for watching it see you in the next video